ladies and gentlemen, I am the C-H-A-L-L, Dongster Born, but built for theme parks. And welcome to the theme park news and update. Now, this is a bit of a sad one. Bit of a sad one. Um, history in the making at Hershey Park. The Wildcat is going on the 31st of July. Now, before we get started, make sure you do like, comment, subscribe. Click the notification bell to name this YouTube video. And for now, let's share exactly what's been going on. So, Hershey Park have tweeted, last to ride alert, Wildcat will close Sunday, July 31st, so be sure to visit this month for one final ride. Any suggestions on what we could do with the 3,100 feet of wooden track? Stay tuned for details later this year. Now, bearing in mind, Rocky Mountain Construction did actually tweet it, replied to that saying, we have a few ideas. And I did double check whether it was the, the Rocky Mountain Construction official Twitter. And it is the official Rocky Mountain Construction Twitter. So, uh, I mean, it could just be a bit of fun. We're not going to read too much into it because, you know, Twitter, Twitter can, you know, just... You know, Twitter can just provide some really nice banter between admins on social media and stuff like that. But I think it's a very interesting story, a very interesting situation uh, happening there at Hershey Park. And I think this could definitely uh, hint towards something going on for 2023. Now, obviously, this is going to be... This is a... This, uh, a big big history with this with this coaster um you know great coasters international introduced 32 wooden roller coasters 32 wooden roller coasters and wildcat is now officially the oldest of the wooden roller coasters by gci 1996 two years before roar at six miles great america and then a year later after the Raw, it was Raw at Six Flags Discovery Kingdom, which became the Joker, and Guazi, which became Iron Guazi at Busch Gardens Tampa. And then, of course, you got Lightning Racer in 2000 um, at Hershey Park, believe it or not. Uh, then you got the Ozark Wildcat, which has gone at Celebration City. You got Thunderhead at Dollywood, Thunderbird at Powerland, Kentucky Rumbler at Beach Bend, Renegade at Valley Fair, Troy at Toverland, American Thunder at Six Flags St. Louis, El Toro at Isaac Park, Pallone, Prowler at Worlds of Fun, Apocalypse the Ride at Six Flag Magic Mountain, Joris Ender Drak at F Telling, Wood Coaster at Night Valley, Woden at Europa Park, Gold Striker, which will be going away at California's Great America in a few years, White Lightning at Fun Spot America, Python in Bamboo Forest at Nanchang Sunak Land, Heidi the Ride at Popsan Pan, Invader at Busch Gardens Williamsburg, Mystic Timbers at Kings Island, Great Desert Rally at Happy Valley, an unknown one opening at Happy Valley in 2017 as well, Wicker Man at Alton Towers, Werewolf at Marjolan Cow Natty, um, Texas Stingray at SeaWorld San Antonio, Roaring Timbers at Sunworld Hon Thon Nature Park, then you've got the two under construction, uh, Bombay Express at Bollywood Park, and Mad Race at Fancy Valley in Asia. So, for me, again, you've got, it's, it, you know, it's, You've got a nice array of wooden coasters there, and the fact that this was the first of the coasters, the first of the um, GCI coasters in general, not just wooden coasters, but the first ever GCI uh, roller coaster. So this ride's got a lot of history, and um, you know this uh, the Wildcats uh, very historic ride. It's going to be a, a a big big miss in the. Um, in the coaster community i think a lot of people will have a lot of memories and please comment down below comment down below your memories of the wildcat now this has got a length of 3183 feet of track specifically a uh, height of 106 feet um you got a drop of 85.2 feet a speed of 50 miles per hour g force of 3.5 uh, cost five million US dollars. Designed by Claire Hayne and Mike Boodley, um, named after the Hershey Perks Park's first roller coaster in their history, called the Wildcat. Originally had two uh, a six by two by two trains layout and built by Philadelphia Toboggan Coasters. And for the 2007 season, the trains were replaced with GCI's Millennium Flyer trains. Uh, now, like I said, this opened on the 26th of May 1996. 
um, and just wow. I mean, the history of this this coaster has just been. Um, it's it's been it's got its history it really has got its history but of course you know parks have to develop time moves on and things happen now i'm going to share with you the specifics of what i think could be happening to the wildcat and also my thoughts on what is going on there we are ladies and gentlemen thrill seeks of all ages and as queen would sing another one bites the dust a uh, bit of a queen atmosphere there. Uh, now, obviously, you know, like I say, it's a piece of coaster history that's going here. I never got to experience the Wildcat. I can't get over to the States before the 31st of July to ride it, so it will be my last time talking about the Wildcat. Uh, of course, apart from any updates, because, of course, we all love updates with what could be coming to the uh, now-leaving Wildcat. Uh, there have been rumours for a while. There have been rumours for a good few months that something was happening to the Wildcat, and I think a lot of fans are getting excited about potentially something happening to the Wildcat. Now something looks like it is happening. Um, from the statement and from RMC's little cheeky dig, I think a conversion of some kind from someone is definitely coming. I don't think it'll be demolished or replaced with something off the ground. I think it will be a conversion. I think there's no doubt of that in my opinion. Do I think it's RMC? 50-50. 50-50. The other 50% goes to the GCI Titan Track. Now, we've seen Titan Track conversions... We've seen sections of White Lightning get this, um, Titan Track, and for me, for me, I feel like this, like I said, I think it's a 50-50. I think it's generally a 50-50. I would like to see the Titan Track. I think it'd be great to see the Titan Track, but I think every single Coaster fan just wants an RMC at Hershey Park. I think ever since they invested in the B&M Hyper in 2020, I think they've been asking for this this RMC conversion of a coaster and they've wanted Wildcat to be the conversion for it for a while now.